All right, guys, it's Hawk with Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're going to put some more aftermarket chokes in the Impala Plus, so stay tuned. As you guys know, Impala, Plus, Impala sent us a 12-gauge shotgun to the channel. I haven't put any aftermarket chokes in there besides the one I filmed today, but we got an Indian Creek 665. And we got a Jeb's Headhunter 665. Both these chokes are 665 and we're at 40 yards like always. The load we're going to be putting on paper is the Rogue Ammunition. This is their signature stacked load. It's a 12 gauge, 3 inch, 2 and a quarter ounce of 8 over 9s, traveling 1190 feet per second. We put a couple patterns on paper with this and it, it performed fairly well. Mike. All right, I don't got the mic. Hawk's got the mic, so he wants me to do this. So here we go. First one. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so if you want to read it, you have the mic. Uh, this says two pounds, 2.2 ounces. Light, so my, just for reference, my Mossberg that I just did the trigger just to see what the fuss was all about on it, now has a two pound average so i do know hawk said in the unboxing they did make this gun to have a light trigger pull for turkey hunters so they did they're doing just that two pound trigger on a 12 gauge Yee, baby test number two that's pretty freaking consistent <laughs> do you want to read it yep all right guys we got two pounds let's see 12.5 ounces. 12.5 ounces, so it's relatively close, which is crazy for a 12 gauge trigger pull that light. That's a two pound, I mean average, that's like two and a half pounds. Yeah. So a two and a half pound <coughs> average on a 12 gauge for all you light trigger motherfuckers. All right guys, we're at 40 yards. First choke here is gonna be the Jeb's Headhunter 665 with uh, the Jeb Signature Series, eight over nine stack load. Um, I do got my hearing protection. These are the Warbird Intrepid RC. They enhance your hearing and also kill whatever, kill shotgun noises, whatever. I mean, they lower the decibels. Lower, is. lower the decibels. There you go. But these are pretty sweet, and we're gonna, I'm gonna be getting a promo code, and uh, I'll, we're gonna be putting it in all the videos I do. So if you guys want a pair, you'll get a discount on them. But <clears throat> let's put this on paper. All right, guys, we got the Impala Plus Jeb's Headhunter 665 with the Rogue Signature Series 8 over 9 stack load at 40 yards. That looks centered. It, it, I can see the 8s on paper on that Birchwood, but I cannot see the 9s. Might be a little right. I was thinking a little left, maybe. Oh, a little left, yeah, sorry. Yeah. All right, clear firearm. He's changing out chokes, and then we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. <clears throat> the only thing that's going to change is the choke tube. We got an Indian Crick 665 in there with the Crick. Jeb Signature Series 8 over 9 stack load. And I got to say about these headphones, there's minimal wind that you can hear, and it's really windy today. These things are pretty impressive. For how long we've gone without hearing pro, Don't it's be us. Uh, not good. But <laughs> especially the road. I got the Impala Plus, Indian Crick 665, in the Jeb's Signature Series, eight over nine stack load at 40 yards. Oh yeah, that looks good too. The Birchwoods just don't do it justice no more. Those, both those look good. All right, let's go see what that stack load looks like on paper. All right guys, once again, that was the Impala Plus with the Indian Crick 665 and Jeb's Headhunter 665. And this first one here is the Jeb 665. And looking at this, I can just tell right now the core is, the core is tight. But this is a really good pattern, overall pattern. 
I mean, that turkey smoked. I did snood smacked him, but yeah. I'll go more in depth when we get the circle on it. And the 665 <clears throat> Indian Crick. Indian Crick. This looks a lot tighter than the Jebs. I mean, it doesn't look like you have much leeway at all, but when we get the circle on it, then I'll go more in depth. But let's get the BCO 12 on there. It's rolling. All right, guys, that was the Impala Plus with two choke tubes, the Indian Crick 665 and the Jebs Headhunter 665 with the Jebs Signature Series 8 and 9 stacked load. And this first one here is the Jebs Headhunter. And first starting off on the outside of the 12, you got a lot of shot just on the outside of that 12-inch circle. I mean... This is a really nice hunting pattern. You got like, I think it was like five, six flyers, um, which isn't bad at all, but you got plenty of shot inside that BCO 12 circle. I mean, you put that on them at 40 yards, you're gonna crush them. I mean, that's, there's a lot of shot right in here, that eight, nine stack load, that's, that's some filthy stuff right there, I mean. You got leeway too if you're going to be in like 20 yards. <clears throat> you're going to absolutely crush them. I mean, you're getting all this shot here and all that condensed down at 20 yards. You're going to just pile drive them. I mean, it's going to be good night. But this is a good overall hunting pattern. I mean, I would I would definitely hunt this for sure. No, like I said, you got five, six flyers, nothing to worry about. I mean, you got maybe a little tiny void here, but with a 12 gauge and two and an ounce, well, I think it was two and a quarter ounce, you're, those voids really aren't going to matter. You're going to hit them with all this, and he's, he's going to be night night. There's a ton of shot just outside that 12, though. Yeah, yeah, you got. You got a really good pattern. If there was a 14 inch or even in a 20, you got most of your loads in the 20. Yeah. Which is the same on both of these shows. So that's a good load. It is a good load, yeah. Just Jake's say. gonna zoom in on the BCO 12. So if you guys wanna count them, you can pause the screen or pause your phone, whatever, and count them. All right, now we can go look at the Indian Crick 665. On this Indian Crick 665 with that stack load, I mean, Start on the outside of the pattern. <clears throat> you don't have as much shot on the outside of the pattern as you do with the Jebs. <clears throat> it's pretty much all inside <laughs> that 12 inch circle. I mean, it's gonna give you some leeway, but you don't really have much. I mean, oh, now look inside the 12. There is just so much shot inside like even like a 10 inch circle. That I'm a tight core guy and to be honest, that's too tight for me like that's saying something because i do like it tight but that's absolutely <laughs> screaming tight yeah. i mean that's you guys know anything can happen in the turkey woods and you're pretty much handcuffing yourself with this that load and that choke i mean for the screaming tight core guys which i am but <laughs> this this would hammer you take his head off with this this is it really is impressive to see how tight that really is but yes. i'm not a fan of it and i'm a tight guy but it's it's impressive how tight that is that's there's so much shot just in a 10 inch circle right here i mean that's that's absurd and i think the indian crick gives you a little bit more flyers you got a couple down here over here um but, like I said, guys, that's that's too tight for me. I mean, I know some guys love that. I do love that sometimes, but for me, 12 gauge, I'd like my pattern to be a little open, so I'm not. Because anything can happen. I mean, you guys know, it's you're going to have to be on them, on them with this. <laughs> I would not recommend this load to any youth hunter out there. I mean... I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of better have I, a reflex for that one. Yeah, I know a lot of guys love this, myself included. But I'd like to see the twelve covered just a 
If it opened up just a hair. Yeah, I'd right. like to see. I'd like to. If it was, I'd like to see a, just a little. The 12 covered a little bit more, because right now, it's pretty much all that shot's just in a 10-inch circle. I'd like that 12 to be a little bit more covered, but it it is impressive how tight that is. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean the Jebs is a little bit more. I think a better hunting pattern. But if you're a screaming tight core guy, this is the that load and that choke out of that gun is what you want right there because you hit him with that <laughs> you're gonna rip his head off <laughs> um that's that's That'll insane oh him. yeah but i would just be cautious like i said of the flyers because there is a little bit more in the indian creek than there is the the jebs but i mean even at 20 yards dude that's oh 12 gauge with tss is 20 yards Hey, I was a, yeah, I, I've seen it. I Mine mean, was straight eights though. Like I said, that's impressive how tight that really is. That's crazy how that those eights and nines held like that. I still say it's the best blend. I was not expecting it to be that tight. I was expecting to be like a good hunting pattern, but I was not expecting it to be this tight. Really, I didn't think that 665 would hold the eights and nines that <laughs> condensed it down that much but poor old long beard you gotta be <laughs> mad at him <laughs> yeah you, you gotta hate him i mean it's that one bird that you can't get yeah. until at the end of the season you finally get him that's what you hit him with because <laughs> <laughs> right? he's pissed you off several times because he you know how they are but that was the impala plus with the indian crick 665 jeb 665 with the. Uh, Jeb Signature Series 8.9 stack load, and I'm really liking that Impala Plus right now, guys. That's a, it's a shooter for sure, at a decent price gun. I do have some more testing with that. I got a bunch of chokes, and we got, like you guys know, we got a bunch of loads and all that, new loads that come to the channel all the time, but if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out the merch. We got the Smack and Snoods shirts on there. Um, we do have those, just to say it too, we do have those in a blind hunt, like for those that hunt in blinds, we do have the hoodie, the long sleeve, and t-shirts all in blacked out, so there's no logo on them, just the smack and snoo design on the back. So for those of you, like myself, that will hunt turkeys out of a blind, I did make those so you could have it perfect for a blind. So, and we do have that in heavyweight hoodies, regular hoodies, long sleeves, all that just so it covers the guys that hunt blinds. But if you guys want to become a member, it's $10 a month. It's really beneficial to you. You get to see all the tests before anybody else does. You're, you get a chance to go and buy the new stuff before any before it's gone. I mean... Yeah, performance is like this. Yeah, the perform. Manager. I'm like I said, that I'm really impressed with that gun so far. I've done a couple pattern tests with it. I mean... It's I hate to say it, but it's almost, it's right there with my TriStar, and that's my baby. And she shoot, she's a shooter. I mean, it's putting patterns like this on paper right now. It's, it's, it's impressive. I got more to do with it. Got more to do with it today, so we're going to catch you on the next one.